Hello morning uh, Long Lane Church, my name's Shirley and today I'm going to be bringing uh, Micah chapter 5 verse 4 and it says he will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord uh, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God and they will live securely for then his greatness will reach the ends of the earth and um, I was looking at this passage and at first I was a bit stuck and I thought, oh, what's it about, what's it saying? And um, I looked at it as a whole one and thought, that's talking about Jesus and it's talking about his kingdom and what will happen with this kingdom. Um, and then I began to think about the words that were used and I suddenly realised that, well, this was originally written in Hebrew, so... I went back to the Hebrew and looked at some of the meanings of some of the key words. And um, so stand comes from a word called amand. And if anyone uh, can speak Hebrew, you'd probably be laughing and thinking um, that I'm pronouncing it wrong. But that's the only way I know how to pronounce it. So basically, it means uh, stand here or be there, to stand upright. Um, and the thought that struck me was establish, you know, that that he will stand, he will be there, he will stand, he'll be, he'll be established. And then um, he says, and shepherd his flock. And I was struck by um, John uh, 10 verse 14 and 15. I'm the good shepherd. And this is what Jesus said about himself. I'm the good shepherd. Uh, I know my sheep and my sheep know me just as the father knows me and I know the father I lay down my life for the sheep and I was just struck by the fact that Jesus is our shepherd and we are the sheep of his hand the next word that struck me was was um, strength and um, the Hebrew word is ozo ozi um, I mean strength, strong power, boldness, loudness. And it's just the fact that, that God um, is, is establishing his, his kingdom, that it be in the majesty of the, of the name of the Lord, um, our, our name of the Lord his God. And just really looking, and he's not standing in his own power, he's standing in the power that comes from knowing God. And that's what we need to do. We need to stand in the power that knows that's coming from God. And then the next word that sort of like um, struck me was majesty. You know, that it, 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 from the strength uh, of God, majesty. And that's gawan, pride, excellence, majestic, glory, um, are all the key meanings behind this word in Hebrew. And... Um, you know, it's it's almost like there's a majestic side to God, and and Jesus is going to be established and strengthened through God. And then the the next word that really um, struck me was the word abide. Um, you know that they will live securely, uh, and just sort of like abide is ya ya yaushab. Uh, which is to sit down, to dwell, to inhabit, to remain. And I was just struck by the fact that, you know, to actually remain doesn't take any effort. It just means that we've got to sit down and hear and listen and understand what God is saying. And um, the last word that really struck me was was great. And, and sort of like the Hebrew for, for that was... Uh, gaudel which um, is large grow increase growing up into and um, I'm just struck by the fact that you know his kingdom uh, you know will be great and and it will grow and that's what God is interested in he's interested in his kingdom growing and that the, we as people of God uh, that we grow and we continue to grow up in him. And that, that was the sense of the, the Hebrew word, is that it 
was to grow up like a child to to grow into maturity and um i just love looking at the words and their meanings um because we can get a richness of an, an idea of how great our god is by understanding the meaning behind words um so that's have a good great day and i shall see you at some point in the future